thing that I know about your 20s is self-improvement. Self-improvement is such a huge thing in your 20s. Like, if you are a bum, if you've been swearing, if you don't have the right dialogue, if you can't talk professionally to to people, if you feel like you're insecure or you don't like your weight or you don't like something about yourself, your 20s is that one place where you can improve, be better, do better, really look within and really see what the problem is and try to solve it. And I can say for a fact that having the right friends in your 20s is so important. your girl Sadie and welcome to my space to all my returning subscribers I appreciate you and if you are new to my channel swipe to subscribe hit that bell to keep the hype alive follow me on my socials to see more of me it's gonna be lit so let's get to it guys it is so important it is so important to have the right friends in your 20s because let me tell you why the right friends build character you're right, the right friends build, I mean, every friend group or whatever friendship you have will always build your character and will always build the type of character that your friend is or your friend reflects. And if you don't like the things that your friends do, like when you're not there or there's certain things that your friends do or engage in, somehow it's going to rub off on you. You know, your friends influence the way you think, the choices you make, the things you like, the things you don't like. Like they are like a piece, a very huge piece of your personality. So if you don't have the right friends in your 20s, if you don't have the right friends in your 20s, forget about being the person that you want to be. Forget being the next Oprah. Forget being the next Bill Gates, forget being the next Beyonce, because your friends don't align with the role model that you want to, you know, be, you want to become, then you're not going to become that person because it's not aligned with what you want. You don't see a doctor chilling with musicians because they don't have time for that. Doctors must influence other doctors so that they can become better doctors. And rappers must influence other rappers and chill with other rappers to become the best version of themselves as a rapper. You know, you can't chill with a doctor and want to be a musician, rapper, singer, writer, um, because they don't align together. So if you spend more time with people that don't align with what you want in life you are likely to become something else and in that moment you don't notice i feel like with high school especially i feel like with high school it really depends and i feel like high school majority of the time when you're choosing friends it is mainly based on convenience you know i think most of my friends that i have obtained in high school I really love and I really enjoy their company but I got to understand the root of convenience that was within our friendships do you understand like now I have to maintain the relationships that I have out of high school and I really need to step forward and make decisions based on uplifting my friendships you know I have to actually put a budget to go see my friends i have to make plans to go see my friends and you know enjoy their company because now more than ever like i have to step up to the plate to make sure that this friendship is maintained and obviously i need to see my friends reciprocate that kind of energy back to me but like with high school i didn't have to do much you know besides the small occasional presents that I would give my friends on their birthdays, you know, show them love on Valentine's Day, you know, that 
you know those small presents to just say yeah i love you i understand you i am present and i'm here for it and i appreciate you but besides that like waking up in the morning going to school and going to see my friends that is just a matter of convenience and it really works in friendships that are built in you know institutions high school primary work university college you know any institution that you get to see your friends in and you get to see them every day it's just a matter of convenience but once that friendship is not aligned with your work or your school or your daily routine then it is much harder to actually maintain that friendship and that's when you see if this friendship is like worthy because it's like you have to now scale do i really need to see this person do i you know and if you get to the point where you start questioning if you need to see this person or not or if you really want to see this person or not then you need to sit down with yourself and really ask yourself is this person putting value in your life are you were was this friendship based on convenience or was it actually based on the fact that this person is improving you or is you know putting you into a state of happiness joy you know are you actually getting something positive out of this friendship or was it just a matter of convenience and just like passing time you know this person is right here i'm always seeing them every day and we study the same subjects we study the same we have yeah we study the same major so therefore you know it's just a matter of convenience but once your friendship is challenged and once your friendship is like out of the gates of whatever institution that you guys met in that's when you actually get to see that okay this friendship is important or this friendship is always actually just wasting my time because there is nothing to this friendship than just talking crap about other people just gossiping or you know whatever the case may be like you need to build friendships that are not just based on convenience because friends friendships that are just based on convenience are friendships that fall off very quickly like once you guys go in different directions and you guys don't want to hang together or you question the fact that you need to hang you question the fact that you need to come together and you know you know link up and enjoy each other's company you don't have anything to talk about it was just a matter of convenience that it wasn't a friendship like it was this person was an acquaintance you know it was just a it was just a matter of okay you're here i'm here you know let's let's do something about it let's just you know pass time and see where this goes um and you know friendships or relationships that are just based on convenience are very very toxic number one number two they are very deceiving because you don't see it at first you're like okay i love this person this person is talking about what i like to talk about and this person is always here and the thing is they're always here because they need to be there they're not always here because of you you know when you think about the people that you met in high school and you think about the people that pitched up they were always there to get their education not always there to link up with you no you are not the priority you are just a convenience you know so you need to really think about that if your friendship is based on convenience you really need to like dig deep and see if it actually works out of the workplace it actually works out of the school that you guys go to it doesn't work out of, because once you build a friendship out of convenience for years and years after like a few years of maybe you guys moving into different directions you will like understand that you just waste maybe 3 4 years of your life with this person that is not going to help you improve in life and you have to start over and find someone else and let me tell you something when you are in an institution whatever institution whether it's school work college university whatever it may be it is easier to build friendships in that environment 
and the right type of friendship it is easier to find friendships in that environment so if you test your friendship now like if you look at your friendships and you're like okay let's you know hang out during school holidays or during the times that we don't have to go to work then you will see what that friendship is built on because if it's just built on convenience it is bound to waste your time and you cannot buy time do you understand like if that time is gone it is gone you know you're not getting any younger like if it's built on convenience you need to toss it aside you need to toss it aside because it's wasting your time. It's wasting your time. Like, I feel like preaching right now because this is so important. You need to toss it to the side. Please toss it to the side because it's wasting your time. Let me go to another point of just friendships that are based on things that don't help you grow. Do you understand? Like, if you are spending a lot of time with a person and you're not talking about self-improvement... There is no, there is, there is nothing in your conversation between that person that has to do with you becoming a somebody, you uh, are gymming every other day, or talking about routine, talking about building a company, talking about investments, talking about like just making your life better, improvements, reading, writing journaling like you need to have friendships that are building your character and i think i talked about this in the beginning but i really want to step into the character building aspect of a friendship because there is nothing as important as wanting to associate yourself with the right people because when you associate yourself with the right people it life is easier you know let me say for instance, right, that you just recently became a a mom, right? And yeah, this is like totally hypothetical, but you just became a mother of a child and you need to raise that child and you don't know anything about motherhood, right? Other than the fact that you've read books, you've seen TikToks, videos, on youtube whatever the case may be you've done your research but obviously you are experiencing it so therefore not all books are going to give you the answer do you understand so now now you build a friendship with someone who recently has a child or someone who has had a child for at least two years now and they have gone through everything you are going through right now and your friendship is built on not only because you guys like the same music, you guys are in the same neighborhood, but because you guys have gone through the same thing, right? It is going to be easier for you to maintain that relationship because you know for a fact that this person can tell you that when I'm going through this, this is what I do. And the solutions that they give you, they actually work for you too. Like they are proper solutions. Now, that kind of friendship is also based on convenience but it is also very necessary for you because you're not wasting your time because you know for a fact that this person is going to improve my life it's going to make this person is going to make my life better because they have been through what i have been through so in in a way they're like mentoring me to do the right thing so that i don't go through the rough patches they that they have gone through right does it make sense? Because it is just so important if I, as a graphic designer, link up with other graphic designers and art directors and what else, who else is in my industry, animators, illustrators, I am in the right environment to constantly think about graphic design and innovative ways of making my work stand out you know they're helping me in my career they're helping me in my journey as a graphic designer and whatever they discover and whatever i discover we share ideas we talk about it and we implement it in our lives and we know that when i implement these things into my life 
my life becomes easier. You know, it is so important to associate yourself with the people that are aligned with what you want in life. Choose peace. Choose happiness. Choose the right friends so that you don't waste your time, you enjoy your time with them, and they build your character, and you don't need to worry about boundaries, and you don't need to worry about the things that those people do when you're not around. Because if you trust them that much, that these people, they are aligned with the things that I want to do in life, then you don't even need to worry about other things. Everything is going to flow. And your life is going to get so much better. And you're stepping up because, you know, if I spend the first five years with this person, my next five years is going to look even better because I spend so much time trying to improve myself, um, taking this person's advice and really putting my life into perspective. Because now, if you spend your time with the wrong people, I guarantee you now, five years later, you have manifested this life that you didn't even know you were going to manifest. But because you spend so much time with these people that are, that are constantly manifesting things that are not aligned with your dreams, your ambition, the things that you love, you are manifesting things that you don't even know. And five years later, you live in that reality of whatever you've manifested and it's not aligned with the things that you want. And like you are stuck. You have to start over. You have to reevaluate like, okay, what did this person bring into our friendship? And also, it's not, that, uh, it's not the other person's fault. It's your fault for letting it happen. Do you understand? Because... I feel like a lot of the time we like blaming other people and, you know, we like pointing fingers at other people saying this person is not good enough or this person is not putting in the work. No, you allowed them. You allowed them, sweetie. You allowed them. You allowed them to be the people that they are in your presence. You did not demand you did not put boundaries. You did not say anything. You just let it happen. You just let it flow. So therefore, that's what is going like. That's what's going to happen because you allowed it to happen. You allowed it. It happened because you were like, okay, no, this is lit. No, this is fine. This is okay. Let's let's do it. Let's go with it. It is so dangerous when you don't understand the amount of work. And the amount of character building, personality, choices that you made. If, it's, if you don't realize how important it is that you have the right friends, you get to a place where you make decisions and you look back at this decision like two years later and you're like, how did I come to this decision that is so dumb, that is so stupid? And then you look at the friends that you have you look at the conversations that you have with those friends and you realize it comes from that it's rooted in that it is so sad like it is so sad it has happened to me um so many times where i chill with a person and at the moment it feels fun it feels nice i'm passing time but now that i look at my reality i'm just like what the hell why did I allow this to happen? Do you understand? Why did I allow such conversations to happen in my presence? And why did I hype it up? Why did I hype it up? Like, it is so wrong. It is so bad. Why did I hype up such things? Guys, the amount of character building and personality and the amount of choices that you make because of your friends. Not because of you. Never because of you. Because of your friends. That the amount of peer pressure that comes with friendships. The amount of the subconscious choices you make because of your friends. There's so many choices you base because of the influence. You are constantly influenced. And if you are influenced by the wrong people... You make the wrong things. You make the wrong choices. 
and then you look five years later and you're like how did i get to this it's because of the people you associate yourself with jeez stop please stop please stop it's not cute don't do that to yourself have the right friends that you know will build you that you know will help you succeed that you know for a fact will help you succeed in whatever goal that you have whether your goal is going to the gym every day that is simple it is fun it is simple then associate yourself with the gym buddy because you know that there needs to be that one person that is motivating me to go to the gym because you can't do it alone you can't always do things alone it's like life doesn't work that way you can't just do things alone you know you need to have a partner so that things can happen and they can happen smoothly easily and you know in a fun way you need a partner but make sure that that partner is motivating you to do the things that you want to succeed in in life you need to, you can't just succeed out of nowhere no no you need to have a partner but make sure that you are having you know you choosing the right partner and when i say partner partner can be a friendship a relationship just choose the right people you know if you need to have a checklist of the characters that a person possesses to be in your life have that checklist have that checklist the same way that you are interviewed you go through um people analyze you and when you when you have to you when you apply for a job they need to look at your papers they need to check if this person is the right person for us the same way that people recruit other people into positions you i'm not saying like interview people and ask for their resume but like make sure that the people you associate yourself with are aligned with what you want do you understand if you have to look at the resume then do it if you have to look at their portfolio you know if you have to look at what they're into then look into it first before you apply to this thing called friendship because friends guys friends build who you are like when you look at yourself and you look at your friends it is more or less the same thing it is like a mirror in terms of personality the personality that you have as a person is built around your community is built by the people around you so your mother your father your sister your brother and your friends and mainly i feel like your friends build your personality more than anything because you are likely to spend time with your friends than your family you know i feel like there is family time and it is necessary to spend time with your family but you are likely to spend at least 50 to 60% of your time with friends more than you are with your family so the way you talk the way you carry yourself the what you talk about what you think is important that is built with true friendship that is built through friendship that is built your personality how you present that is based on your, the friends that you have now if the friends that you have are doing other things that doesn't align with what you want to do in life scissors cut them off cut them off cut them off sis cut them off because you are wasting your time you are wasting your time with the wrong people that don't value you that don't value what you bring to the table and you are just wasting your time and the worst thing in life is just wasting time on people that don't value you that don't value what you do you know they just want to tag along you are just a convenience to them don't do that to yourself don't do that to yourself anyway i hope that really helped you in terms of navigating friendships in your 20s it is very important that you choose the right friends but i got into it and i'm glad that you guys stuck around until the end i appreciate you guys comment down below the toxic traits that you have seen in friendships after like you know after like 2 3 years you're like hey all of a sudden you know like comment below let me know what are the toxic traits that friendships have especially like friendships that are based on convenience 
like comment down below let me know what kind of like toxic traits that friendships all of a sudden just come up with let me know down below comment and like comment subscribe guys until next time until next time